Hey friend, thanks for clicking on my last video of the Case for Christ challenge. God challenged me at the beginning of August to make a video once a day to just tell people about the love of Jesus and to spread the gospel. And so I was trying to be obedient to that. Maybe some of you guys got really annoyed, <laughs> just scrolled past through it. Maybe some of you guys were encouraged or maybe you learned something or maybe you heard something that you've never heard before. But that really wasn't any of my concern. My concern was just being obedient to God and spreading the message and spreading the good news. And so what I want to say in my last message, in my last video of this challenge to you, if you've never heard the gospel, if this is the only video of mine that you watch, all I want to tell you is this, is that God misses you. He misses you so much. He wants you to come home. He wants you to come home. He wants your heart to be reconciled back to his. He wants to be in a deep personal relationship with you. He misses you. Whether you are angry at him or you've never heard about him before, right now, if you are watching this video, I believe that it's not by accident. I believe that you clicked on this video out of curiosity, but definitely not by accident. Or maybe you've watched the last videos, but this is a message to you specifically if you have clicked on this video. God wants me to tell you that he loves you so much, that he misses you so dearly, and that he wants you to come back and to be reconciled back to him, to make the choice to come back to him. Not out of a dictatorship or, or fear or anything like that. He just misses you. That's my message is that God misses you. But here's the thing. If you have never heard of the gospel or if you've never came to Jesus before, you have to know that all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That's Romans 3.23 says that none of us can earn our way to the Father. It, we are saved by grace through faith, lest any man should boast. By grace through faith, by God's unmerited gift, unmerited, unusual act of kindness of his death and resurrection on the cross by our faith, by believing in him and what he said he did and what he said he, he was gonna come to do. All of us are sinners and we have fallen short and we're not perfect. Then the only way to be reconciled back to God the Father is through Jesus. God says, Jesus says that he is the way, the truth and the life and the only way to be to the Father is through him. He's the one way, the one way to the Father. There is no other way and he offers us this gift of salvation freely, freely. To accept this gift, you just have to confess it with your mouth. You have to know this. You have to know there is no more time, there is no more debating, there is no more deciding, there is no more research today. Today is the day of your salvation. And so you ask me, D, how do I become saved? What do I do? What, what do you need me to do? Like, what is it? Like, what exactly is happening? What, what, how do I get there? You say something like this. Romans 10, 9 says, confess with your mouth and believe that Jesus is Lord and that he died for your sins and you will be saved. And no, nobody can take that away from you. So you say something like this. God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I believe that you died and rose again for my sins. I call on the name of Jesus to save me from a separation from you so that I can be reconciled back to you in heaven. Holy, Sp Holy Spirit, fill me with your grace. Fill me with your spirit. That's it. And you are saved and delivered until the day of redemption. I don't let anybody tell you that it is works that is going to keep you saved. Yes, works are the response and the fruits of our salvation, but we cannot work to be saved. Grace and salvation is a free gift, period. You have to accept it into your heart and believe, truly, truly believe, because a lot of people confess that God is Lord with their lips, but their hearts are far from them. I don't know whether you've confessed it before. Maybe you need to re rededicate your life to him. Maybe you've never done that before. But today is the day of your salvation. Today is the day where God is calling you back home. He wants you back home. He wants to call you back home. So if you have a chance to do that today, I recommend it. The world, people think that the world is going to get better. And to be honest, the world is only going to get worse until Jesus comes back for his bride. 
until Jesus comes back to reign on his kingdom. Because the truth of the matter is this world is fallen. Men are fallen. We are fallen. And their evil exists because God because God doesn't exist in those areas where evil is. And so we need to we need to get as many people as we can into the kingdom of the Lord. I know that's serious. But my message is serious and it's urgent. If you go back to the first video I made, it was about a rapture dream. It was telling people that Jesus is coming back soon. And he is. And whether that's five days, five months, five years, or 50 years from now, you don't sit. Don't sit on your eternity. Do not sit on your eternity. My second message is for the church. This is for the people who already believe in Jesus. Guys, God needs us to band together, to unite, to come together as one. We are so divided in our political beliefs when God's heart is for all to come to repentance. God's heart is that nobody should perish and that we should all come into his kingdom together. Please understand that. Passive Christianity is dangerous. Okay, and I'm not saying that if you don't share things on your page about the gospel, then you're not a true Christian. That's not what I'm saying. But God wants us to get off the bench and onto the court. God wants us to rise. God wants us to go out and to advance and to and to take area for the kingdom. He wants us to bring Jesus to people. Church, this is a call to be bold in our faith. So whatever gifts that you have been given, if you're good at writing poems, if you're good at writing blogs, if you're good at making videos, if you're good at cooking, at whatever it is, do it for the glory of God and use this tool, social media, to spread the gospel. Right now, we are being drowned out by culture in the world, spreading, spreading negativity, spreading disgusting things. We as a church need to band together as a team and unite and spread the positive, the good news of the gospel. We need to spread good news. We need to spread the kingdom of Jesus. We cannot fall back. We are not called to sit back and be silent. We're not called to shrink back in fear. We're not called to just watch as the world goes by and watch as everything falls to pieces and everything burns down. No, we're called to be warriors for the kingdom. We're called to put on the full armor of God and go in advance and go and bring people into the kingdom of God. Church, we need to be courageous. We need to be bold in our faith. This is not a time. This is not a time to sit back and think that we don't have any play or have no hands in the pot. Like we should, we should be sit back and do nothing. Faith without works is dead. We can't sit back and say Jesus is coming back soon and not do anything about it. We can't be so heavenly minded that we're no earthly good. This is, this is just an urgent message for Jesus team. Team Jesus, the people who wear Jesus on the back of their jerseys, you need to rise up right now. Whatever it is that God has given you, you don't have to speak well. You don't have to do all these things that all these great preachers do. You don't have to have a PhD in theology and doctrine to spread the good news of the gospel. You just have to love Jesus because you know that we operate from love. We know You know that we operate because God loved us first. If you have received the free gift of grace, if you've received salvation and you know what he did for you, it would be selfish to keep that to yourself. It would be selfish to keep that good news to yourself. Step up and stop being worried about what people will think about us. Stop being worried if we look crazy or stupid. Time is running out. Time is running out. I don't know if you study Bible eschatology or prophecy at all, but birth pains are growing closer and closer together. The kingdom needs to rise up as one, as one team, as one team. We're not red or blue, black or white, Baptist or Catholic. No, no, no. We are team Jesus, period, period. That's all I want to say. I just want to pray a quick prayer over this message. And I know that was super intense, but this is my last video and I want to be intense. I want to be serious about what I'm telling you. 
So I'm just gonna pray a quick, a quick prayer really quickly and I hope you guys join me in that prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this message today, God. I thank you that whoever is watching this will have a radical encounter with the Holy Spirit, whether they give their life up to you, God, or whether they rededicate their life to you. God, I thank you for the spirits of courage and the spirit of boldness that will be instilled amongst every believer to go out and spread the good news. God, I pray for the person who doesn't believe that they have ears to hear and eyes to see in who you are and the goodness that you offer. God, I pray that the church, even amongst division, bands together so that we can go out and spread the good news. God, I rebuke the spirit of division that is manifesting in racism, that is manifesting in wars in the streets, in Jesus' name. God, I rebuke any disgusting lies that the enemy is spreading to instill fear and division and chaos and confusion amongst the image bearers of the Most High King. God, I pray that you come and you instill your peace and your kindness and your joy amongst every single person watching this video right now, that they may come to know who you are. I pray all this by the power of the Holy Spirit and in Jesus' mighty and holy and precious name. Amen. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it 11 minutes through, I thank you for that. I pray and I hope that this blesses you and encourages you in Jesus' name.